Hello. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to complete the JavaScript question, question 3. You're required to help another member of staff who is learning JavaScript. They want to learn how to change HTML attributes. Open the file jsexample.html in your browser. Resave the file in your TTS folder. You are, going, you are required to display the balloon images in the cell shown over here. Open the file in your text editor and insert JavaScript code to display the, color, the correct color balloon for each button press. Annotate the script with comments. So, what should happen? Before I look at the file, I, sh I will get a HTML page with a placeholder like this in the middle. Okay, a, a square like this in the middle. This example should show how, jo uh, how JavaScript can change the source attribute SRC okay, of an image. Now, we'll be referring to this in the actual JavaScript as well, the SRC. Complete the example by entering the code to display the correct color balloon in the cell when each button is clicked. So what should happen is, when I start, this should be empty. When I click on red, it should show the red balloon. When I click on green, it should show the green balloon. And blue, it should show the blue balloon. And this is worth 20 marks. So I'm going to go to my folder. I'm going to copy this file and put it into my TTS folder, like so. And I'm going to right click on it, I'm going to open with and I am going to use Microsoft Expression to edit this code. When it loads, you should see a window like this. You will edit this using the code done at the bottom. And you can see here is the HTML. Okay. They've already created the buttons for you. And this should tell you, you need to create a function called show red, show green, show blue. Which is what we are going to do now. So, where do I start? After the P over here, the P tag, I'm going to insert a new tab, a new tag called script. And you can see the end tag has been put in for me, so I'm just going to move that down a little bit so I can work in this area. I need to create a function which does, which shows red. So I'm going to create a new function here called function. Okay, and this function is going to be called show red. Open brackets, close brackets, and if oh, show red, that should say not show red. Now, if you remember from my class, okay, there's no, my notes I gave you, there's no attributes in that moment, okay, and we won't be putting any as well. So, then show red. Next, I'm going to put a curly brackets in, and I'm going to say document.getElementById, okay, and I'm going to get the balloon, okay, because the ID over here is balloon, okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type it in here now on the next line I'm going to say document dot get element by ID and it's there I'm just going to use that shortcut there to do it for me okay open brackets and I'm going to use balloon pitch marks close that okay dot src Okay, because in the paper it tells you about source attribute. Okay, and that will be equals to whatever your file name was before. So my file name, I need to remind myself, was okay, green underscore balloon, blue uh, blue underscore balloon whatever you call it. So let's start off with the red balloon because the red button's first. So it's called red underscore balloon. So I'm going to go here. Let's click over here. And in speech, my inside quotes, 
and type in red underscore balloon close your quote marks but before I do that I need to give it what the extension was and I had it as a dot BMP okay then after that I'm going to simply put a semicolon and I'm going to close that block of code now in the exam it tells you to add comments so here I'm going to add a comment just above it by using four slash four slash and I'm going to say this function shows the red balloon okay now I'm going to go to design it doesn't work here does it okay so I need to save it first control s Oops, something's going wrong here. I'm going to go file. I'm just going to save it as 1.0. Uh, there's a problem with my computer. I don't know what it is. I'm just going to go save. Okay, and I'm going to go to file, display in browser, Internet Explorer. See if this works. Okay, something is happening. Okay, I need to make sure that my file name is correct. That didn't work because I've just checked my folder and I haven't got a red underscore balloon my uh, this is my Photoshop file okay so I need to change that file into uh, a PNG I'm not P I'm going to use PNG this time around for this so I'm just going to open this very quickly go file save as okay and I'm just going to save it as I'm going to save as a bitmap because I've done it there as well click on save okay just going to close this down and go back to my script I'm just going to go back to here press F5 click on red there's my balloon okay now obviously it's not big enough but I can play around with that later on but you can see by simply typing in that code there that worked now the rest of it is pretty easy because all you need to do is replicate the code you just typed in from here to here even the comment I suppose okay and then paste it here and then the next one is going to be this will show this shows the green balloon because green is the next number uh, next uh, button okay and I just need to change this to green and again I didn't save it as a BMP green underscore and this time I'm going to save it as a PNG Okay, so let's do this, and this should be show green as well, because look up here, we've got this up here, can you see that, that is show green, okay, and I'm just replicating what's there to here, I've created a function, now, let's go and save the green balloon as a PNG, so I'm going to open that in Photoshop, I'm going to say file, save as and I'm going to save this one as a PNG click on save okay now I'm going to go to my JavaScript there it is just checking it control s go to this here press F5 on your keyboard if you press green there's my green balloon there okay now I'm going to do the next for the same for the blue balloon as well So I'm just going to copy this bit here, control C, control V, okay, this shows the blue balloon, okay, show blue, and blue balloon, okay, I'm going to save this one as a JPEG, okay, and that is done there so I'm going to click file I'm going to say save but I need to save the blue balloon file save as this time I'm going to save as a JPEG click 
and save okay then I'm gonna simply go to my JavaScript make sure it says JPEG there control and S now if I go to my JavaScript file press F5 got red green blue red green blue green blue red you can see it works okay now I need to make this balloon bigger which I will do later on if you look at the script again I will explain it one more time okay they've already given you the buttons and this should indicate to you that I need to create a function okay so I created a script tag to start with and an end script tag as well I enter the comment which the exam board wants I create a function called show red which is from up here then I created uh, then I entered document dot get element by ID the ID was balloon as you can see and the source okay the source attribute was red balloon dot BMP and this is the file name that I saved the file as and I repeated this all the way down okay that is the JavaScript don't overcomplicate things think about it think about it logically and it should be very easy for you to do thank you for listening